welcome everyone. This is Air ACDC, Araceli and Colette, helping you get a dynamic change. And my name is Araceli, I'm a transition wealth advisor and a real estate investor. And that's why I'm here with my partner, Colette. Colette, can you introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm being distracted by my phone. Like the phone, right? We all have that. <laughs> that's the life of an entrepreneur. We always have to like be on and, and talk and make sure everybody's taken care of and, you know, move her in a shaker. <laughs> anyway, my name is Colette Raba. I am a real estate broker in the GTA. Uh, I love helping families. I love helping individual people, but mainly uh, my clients are uh, young people, mm -hmm. believe it or not, um, buying and selling in the GTA and uh, really, this is um, something that we've been discussing between the two of us for a while because I have an Airbnb and we talk about um, from, from the point of view of being a, an, an owner of an Airbnb and mm -hmm. knowing what are the different ways of renting an Airbnb. And this is actually one of them from that perspective. And today's subject is what is a workation, if anybody doesn't know that term yet. it's a, I think it's a brand new term. It's just a spawning out of the COVID situation that we are all locked up. We're working from home. Some people that live in Toronto, they may might be in a small uh, condo or an apartment. And now your kitchen is your office and your couch is your office. And you're... But even even if your office whatever, is, right. even if you are going back to your office um, and working with other people, this is something that a lot of, um, you know, I, I've actually been doing this for quite some time when I don't have a client that needs to show houses. So pretty mm -hmm. much I can do everything else remotely <clears throat> for my work. And I'm sure you do yeah, as well because same. you're on your computer. Mm -hmm. So a, a workation, I wanted, to, I almost said a staycation, which is not the same thing. <laughs> Well, it could be, I think. Well, staycation is more like you're in your house yeah. and you're vacationing in your house and, you know, doing doing things around your house. So that's yeah. not quite the If same. you send people away, it could be a workation. Right, of course. <laughs> yeah. So the funny thing is what I, I think I've been doing this for, for without realizing I've been doing workations for quite a, quite a while because every time... I go and uh, go on holiday. I take my laptop with me because I want my clients to be, I want to be accessible to my clients. Mm -hmm. So we just thought this would be really an interesting thing from both perspectives of, you know, what is this uh, a workation if you don't know what that is? And also as a business owner, you know, from that perspective, why it's beneficial to actually send your staff on a, on a mm -hmm. workation. Yeah. So I have a, a little presentation. Yeah, show, show us, show us. And see what I want. I have my hair is like in the way. No, your hair looks beautiful today. Oh, thank you. Um, sorry. Um, I will share my screen. Yeah, great. Let's see if I can do that. Here we go. Can you? How's that? Can you see that? I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Let me do full screen. Perfect. Okay. So, what's a workation? And of course, I wore something casual so I could pretend that I'm actually on a workation. All right, let's go. So working remotely, this is something that uh, not everybody can do. So let's say you're a waitress and you're working in a hotel, in a, in a, hot, in, in a yeah. restaurant or hospitality. Yeah, you can't do this. <laughs> so, so anybody that who um, can actually, you know, you don't have to physically be at the workplace. You might be able to do a work, uh, workation and work in another restaurant and, you know, where you go on holidays. So a lot of people do that. They work and travel um, just to make their, you know, to, to make their holiday less expensive. So you possibly could do that. But what we're talking about here is somebody who works on a computer. And um, I don't know why I put honest physically has to go to the location. Mm. It's a typo. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but like you physically do not have to be at a location like a restaurant or like a doctor and you have to exactly. be exactly that, that's I was gonna say nurses, things or, or somebody like um uh were they called uh the yeah, any that help somebody else do something that you have to physically be with somebody 
Right. That's so not going to be possible, right? Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to get rid of that word. <laughs> Just so if anybody wants to, to uh, save it, you can <laughs> save it now. Proper. And physically, has, you, you don't have to physically go to the location mm -hmm. or multiple locations. So like me, when I'm showing houses with buyers, I physically have to be there. I can't, you know, call them and say, okay, you go through the house and I give them the lockbox box code that is not allowed in Ontario. So maybe there's other locations that you're allowed to just send your clients out, but something like that. If I yeah. have a buying, buying agent, I, when I go away, I have a colleague uh, step in and show houses. Um, instead. Oh, absolutely. And the thing is, I wouldn't want somebody just to walk in my house because I don't even know who they are, right? So you have to have somebody responsible. So I understand. Of course. But in my case, I can do everything remotely. So I don't even have to ever at any point in time see my clients. Um, now with the power of the internet, we can always deliver policies, um, do transfers, all of that with the click of a button. So somebody right. like myself can do a workation. Right, exactly. So the other thing is um, anybody who can self-police themselves to actually get the work done. So there are, you know, there are some people that they just can't manage, like they need to have a manager or someone telling them, you know, like, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Did you get this done? And you have timelines. And I think with work, it's very important to get, uh, can you see, can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Puppy is I have a new, yeah, I have a new puppy in my house and he just needs attention. So I don't, I'm sorry. This is such a weird, it's never happened before. <laughs> and I'm getting used to it too. So I apologize if it's uh, distracting. Um, and then the other thing too, like you know, if you do want to do a, a work it, to work remotely, like don't go anywhere that it's crazy, like an African safari or a cruise ship where the Wi-Fi is not reliable. Mm -hmm. even though I would love to, you know, be sitting there and you can enjoy it too, right? Like there, there, so let me go to the next slide. So, you know, the, the one thing that we all do anyway, and I've been doing this, like I said before, where I've had my laptop with me, wherever I go away, regardless if it's a pandemic or not, we all need to be plugged in uh, just to even answer emails and stay connected with clients and troubleshoot, especially if you're an entrepreneur and you really want to stay connected but team building too, this is very important. So this is on the side of if you are an owner of a company and you have staff, this is a great way to team build for people. Mm -hmm. So, and you'll be able to uh, um, connect with anybody within your company too. So, so this is the thing you want to stay available and connected. Um, and even if you have actual time off, some people just can't like myself, can't just go away and not have my phone or not have my computer with me and make sure that there's because even if a deal let's say in in my case when i have a live deal even if it's between um signing the paperwork and closing things do arise and i do need to troubleshoot and i do need to be in touch with my office and i do need to be in touch with the lawyers just in case something does come up um and then you can also obviously just like this, I could be on holiday right now. You could be on holiday right now. We won't know because we're on Zoom and we have our backgrounds and you don't know where we are. So I could be in a lush tropical garden right now, but I'm not. So <laughs> don't I wish. Isn't that where you are? Right? No, I wish. I wish. But you know, that's the thing. So we can do this and the technology is there. It's amazing. Yeah. So these are the choices. And, and this is something that if you are a boss or if you're, um, you do want to approach your boss to say, you know, can I do this? So some of the options are you go as a workplace. So the, the company owner gets to write off all of this as a business expense. Mm -hmm. It can be way more productive to work as a group. Um, it's great for team building and re-engaging your staff. Like this is something that we're all, it's COVID. We've been in this for a year and a half plus a year and a half plus to really you know start saying listen we can the weather is really nice so so that's coming as well yeah um really re-engage your staff and really uh raise morale and invest in them because yeah. this is the thing they'll be more productive that's the studies show that that people are just more productive Absolutely. when they actually yeah yeah and, and you know uh, what Paul, just changing the environment first of all you make sure that your employees feel more um, appreciated 
and also change the routine because all of us have been uh, locked up for too long and not seeing people having that social interaction, it really, it's taken a toll on everybody. So right, that course. you will accomplish basically two things. First of all, you raise the morale there and also make them feel appreciated. Plus, as soon as you get them out of their normal routine, you'll see the improvement in, you know, in productivity and everything right. else, right? Oh yeah, of course. And this is the other thing too. Like, so let's say I'm an individual and I go to my boss and say, Hey, are you interested in something like this? I can sell it to my boss as a bonus structure or to say, you know what, there's compensation here. You know, I, I'm doing this. Maybe the meals are a write-off. Maybe the location, the hotel can be a write-off, things like that. So it's actually a win-win situation for your company as well. And if you make it into a group uh, uh, getaway, let's say uh, a workation for your, for a few select people, obviously, if it's a huge company, you can't have everybody, but let's just say it's something that you can, you can create a company cost sheet for your boss, present it to them that way to say, Hey, look at, this is really good for the company and that way sell it. And believe it or not, uh, actually this happened. So because I have my Airbnb, um, last year, and it, I think she called maybe in March or April and she said, Hey, uh, I want to give this to my staff as a hall, a, a, you know, a working vacation as well, but it was a different, like you said, different change of scenery. Uh, she sent, I believe four or five different, um, employees at different times throughout a month, a mm -hmm. span of a month. She booked my whole cottage for a month. And um, she said, you know, one family after another came and took the place. So you can either go as a family or you can go as an individual or you can just send, you know, or you say, OK, I'm going to go myself. I'm going to get my work done, but then I'll have my friends come and stay with me. And that's my, you know, my my downtime after. Or you just go alone and you can actually have a little bit of time away from your family and away from work and yeah. actually it might work out so there's lots of different ways to look at this i think it's a fantastic idea and this is also not only for the business owners to get something out of it for the people that have airbnbs like yourself right that they can get a of lot course. more um course. marketing ideas yeah. for companies to come and use their their facilities right absolutely and this is something that i'm going to be doing my you know for my own I am going to do a little bit more marketing for my own uh, place in Prince Edward County because my, the way my house is, the, the property is structured, it's fantastic for this. So this is just perfect for a small group, like the picture that we see here. So maybe what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people, nine people, you know, keep it under, I, I would even keep it under 10. I think nine even is a lot, but if you have a group of, uh, you know, and I don't know, what, what this looks like a ship or something but if you have a type of uh, a group of people that even creative businesses where yeah. you want to uh, really be creative with each other and have a really nice group of um, you know just having that that great like workshop kind of setting yeah. it's fantastic I, I would love to do something like this so yeah and I think that you could use it for let's say if you have a training schedule for your stuff and you know that there's going to be two days, you know that you're going to have them hostage somewhere, may as well have them in a nice environment, maybe you can do it outside, of if course. the is nice, and, and that will really change um, the dynamics of being in a work environment by working right. at the same time. Well, yeah, and so the last, you know, I don't have to go through every step here, but the, 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 uh, the thing too, what you know, we're in Canada, the weather isn't guaranteed, but if you like skiing, for example, and you know, you have, you have your team that really likes skiing and you really want to get out or really take advantage of the beautiful weather and even go, I know we have most, mostly we're in province. We can't really leave the province, yeah. but we want to take advantage of this beautiful weather. So why not? Right. Um, and then they can all work on us on a project too. You don't need supplies, things like that. Um, so this is the thing, like the, really the only question that when you book something, all you have to do is ask, how's the Wi-Fi? you know, do, is it included? Is it extra? Like, is it spotty? Is it something that I really need to worry about? So it's something that you can really, that's it. Like if that's the only thing you have to worry about and you have to trust that the Wi-Fi is good where you're going. 
So again, no African safaris, <laughs> things like that. Yeah, that might, might be a little bit of a stretch, you know, actually. Exactly. Be nice. exactly. So this is the thing. So if you're really going to work too, so be clear about your intentions on both sides. So if you're, you are the boss and you're sending your staff, you have to discuss how many hours are you going to be working? And you can also, if you are selling it to your boss, say, okay, this is, you know, this is how much I, I plan to work when I'm there. Um, and I take breaks too, and discuss the days that you'll totally be off or if you're going to do partially. And same thing, like if you're there for a weekend, you know, if you get to stay for a whole week and then, you know, and that's the thing, if it's a weekend or if it's a week or if it's a couple of weeks, you have to discuss the days off that you're going to be off or totally, you know, partially off. Um, what's going to get done, what projects you'll be specific projects you're going to be working on and then pass off work that you can't do remotely to somebody like what I was saying about showing the houses. So obviously I have somebody lined up that will do those things that I need to physically be in a place. And maybe the most important thing is watch the alcohol and the sun, because if we, you know, that's really the, the only crazy thing that can happen is that we have too much fun. And then we can't work. <laughs> the yeah, exactly. I think that if, if uh, one of the things that you set the intention to is if you're working on a project that has certain milestones, right? And you have to finish uh, that milestone before you come back. And so you already know the workload. The majority of businesses, they already know that what things take how long. So right. you said, okay, you're going to be there for five days. We're going to send you for seven. So you enjoy the weekend. But in five days, you have to get this much work done. Exactly. That is uh, fantastic, right? So right. People, what they would do, at least what I would do, if I know that I have certain tasks, I probably work the first two days really hard to get as much done. So the other days I can work, you know, maybe half day to get my workload finished. So, but it's you know, all up to you and depending on how many people are going to. Right. Or wake up early, get it out of the way, do your few hours in the morning, take a break, go out for lunch. See, the nice thing, what I really like about this is when somebody says workation to me, I'm like, oh, I don't have to cook for a week. <laughs> like, that's oh. like, the best, like that's the best thing. I don't have to like worry about food because if you go somewhere yeah. a resort or somewhere that where they actually, you know, there's meals included. That's for me. I'm all over that. I'd love to do that. Cottage is great too. And going, going to restaurants and, you know, really, or, or just somebody else cooking for you. There's lots of places, even in Ontario, if you vacation in Ontario, yeah. that there are, you know, there's, there's all these meal places that you can get pre-made meals and sent to you and you just throw them in the fridge. And that's part of the vacation too, that, you know, don't forget, it's not just work. It's also the vacation side of it. And what does vacation mean to you? So it should be a real good balance, right? So this is the whole thing. It's about lifestyle. You have to get used to it. The first time might not be the easiest because you might work too much, mm -hmm. depending on your personality. What are you yeah. used to? So the other thing too, is I always like to, I'm always nervous about backup. I always forget headphones or I always forget a plug or I always forget, oh my gosh, what if my, something happens like this? I picked this photo because I'm like, oh my God, there's sand and there's water and she has her computer. And what happens if something ha you know, falls in the water? Ah, <laughs> you know. So things like that, always make sure you have your backups, extra yeah. headphones. And remember your headphones. charger. Yes, your charger. charger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's and, and you know what? I always have a pen and paper or notebook with me because I always, if I'm having lunch and you know, I'm, I'm inspired by something, I don't have my phone with me. I don't have the computer with me. I always like to jot things down on a, on in a notebook. So that way I know where it is. That notebook stays with me wherever I go. Mm -hmm. And um, I can always revert back. I'm, I'm terrible. I have little, uh, this is me. You know, I have little post-it notes and little, you know. Yeah, I have, uh, I actually went down to, I used to have the same thing, like a pen and paper, but I have now an iPad that has an app, which you can actually write like if it was paper. And yeah, I works. have it with me all the time. And the same, yeah. I do the same thing. I write down my notes. Let's see if the tablet gets wet. Yeah, the tablet gets wet. Or you lose exactly. it. Like a notebook. Yeah. Nobody wants my, my stupid notebook, but somebody might want my computer or my tablet. So that's why I always say paper. Yeah. Because even if it gets in the water for five seconds, at least you can take it and you know, try you can, to get yeah, right you off can it. recover it. 
Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I even though we love our electronics, I, I can't help but think that, you know, just having um, a paper backup is always a good, if you don't use it, throw it in your bag. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't weigh a lot. Um, and that's it. So thanks for joining us. Like this is the thing and enjoy your, your workation because I think it's a great opportunity to, to really, like I said, um, not just for, for individuals, but for, for your, your boss to give you this kind of little incentive or this little bonus Absolutely. Um, without costing them pretty much anything really. Yeah. You know, they can do it easily and uh, makes makes everybody feel good. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't, I can't wait to do our own work, Keishin, because, oh. as you know, I do have uh, property in the U.S. that I'm just anxiously waiting for the border to open so we can go back to it. And oh, hold on a second. We already have something planned in October, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah. No, it's this month. It's September. It's, what do you mean October? I thought it was October, but it's actually yeah. September. So see, that's the thing. I, I really, that's, you know, even Araceli and I have two different businesses, but when we want to get together and really brainstorm and really come up with things and, and, and inspire each other, mm -hmm. it, it's hard to do it like this. You know, it's so much easier Absolutely. when it's in person and, you know, you can sort of see what the other person is doing on their computer. And so I'm really looking forward to it too. Yeah. I hope uh, I, <laughs> I hope your significant other does not get upset. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! So he's he's okay. He's managing. Good. He can take care of himself. So good, good. No, absolutely. I'll put him to work too if he needs to. Absolutely, to he can he can work. He likes working. So good. All right. Work. Okay. Awesome. I'll give him some power tools and he can. Yeah. Like so I hope this actually gave you guys some ideas of what to do because you don't have to be a boss. Uh, but if you are allowed to work from anywhere and you get your work done and you are able to talk to your boss and tell them about it, or if you have a small team, like even if you have one or two people that you want to make uh, something out of it, I hope that inspire you. And this is something new, but, you know, we have to adapt to the new environment. And I think it's it could be well married with a little bit of fun and having some uh, work done absolutely that would be a great thing to do so yeah. i hope you like the episode and if you want to see something else or something new that you've seen let us know and we can talk about it at the next episode so or even even make a comment about what you've done for your staff or how you yeah. you like to to workation and uh, give us some ideas maybe we forgot yeah. to uh to put something down and other people would love to know what the options are absolutely we're always looking for new things that are come in in the real estate and also if you do have a property that you don't use or that you just like your cottage and you can rent it for a month or two to a company that can bring some extra income so that'd be great for you yeah sounds good okay well thank you Colette for putting the presentation and we'll see you next week so tune in for the next episode thank bye, you everyone. for watching thank you bye.